Have you ever thought what kind of engine could power everything from a sleek Nissan Skyline to a rugged Holden Commodore, and even moonlight in taxis and police cars? Meet the RB30, the jack-of-all-trades engine that's as versatile as a Swiss army knife. Produced in the mid-1980s, this 3-liter inline-six wasn't just about horsepower, it was about adaptability. Need a smooth ride for a family car? Done. Chasing down criminals in a patrol car? Easy. Dreaming of street racing glory? The RB30's got you covered. This isn't just an engine, it's a legend with the spark plug. This is the story of the RB30, the enigmatic engine behind the legends. Nissan RB30 Engine History The Nissan RB30 engine debuted in 1986 as the naturally aspirated RB30E, primarily for the Australian market. It was installed in various trims of the Skyline, producing 153 horsepower and 186 pound-feet of torque. In 1988, Nissan introduced a performance-enhanced version of the RB30E for the Skyline GTS-1, which increased output to 176 horsepower. This model retained its naturally aspirated design while delivering improved performance. In 1989, Nissan expanded the RB30E lineup with a more powerful variant for the Skyline GTS2, which generated 190 horsepower and 200 pound-feet of torque. Like its predecessors, it was naturally aspirated, showcasing advancements in engine performance. Production of Skylines with the RB30 engine in Australia ended in 1990, although manufacturing continued for the South African market until 1992. Nissan developed both carbureted and fuel-injected versions of the RB30E to cater to different markets and requirements. While the RB30E remained naturally aspirated, there was also a turbocharged RB30 ET variant. However, this version was not produced by Nissan but was instead released by Holden. The RB30 engine series gained recognition for its reliability and versatility, becoming a defining feature of the vehicles in which it was installed during its production run. Now, before we dive into its technical specifications, could you do us a quick favor? If you enjoy this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel. Over 98% of you watch without subscribing. Imagine the impact if everyone did. It's free and means a lot to us. Thanks a bunch. Technical Engine Specifications the RB30 engine, part of Nissan's RB series, was a 3.0-liter inline-six engine respected for its strong design and excellent performance. It had a bore and stroke of 86 mm by 85 mm, which contributed to its smooth and balanced operation. The engine combined a cast iron block known for its durability and strength with an aluminum head to reduce weight and improve heat dissipation. This combination allowed the engine to handle high levels of stress while managing heat efficiently. The RB30 engine had three main variants, the RB30S, RB30E, and RB30ET. The RB30S was a carbureted version designed for simplicity and reliability. It was often used in applications that required easy maintenance and straightforward functionality. The RB30E featured electronic fuel injection, which provided better fuel efficiency and more precise control over the air-fuel mixture, making it a popular choice for improved performance and smoother operation compared to the carbureted version. The RB30ET was the turbocharged variant offering the highest performance among the three. It used forced induction to increase output, making it a favorite for performance-focused drivers. This version had a lower compression ratio of 7.8 to 1 to handle the added pressure from the turbocharger, while naturally aspirated versions had a ratio of 9.0 to 1. Produced from 1986 to 1999, the RB30 engine had a displacement of 2,962 cubic centimeters and used a 12-valve single overhead camshaft design with two valves per cylinder. 
Depending on the variant, it produced between 153 and 201 horsepower and torque ranging from 186 to 218 pound-feet. It powered vehicles like the 1986 to 1988 Holden Commodore VL, Nissan Skyline models from 1986 to 1990, and the 1989 to 1999 Nissan Patrol ST30, demonstrating its versatility across different vehicle types. Engine Design Basics the RB30 engine was a 3.0-liter inline-six motor. The engine code had a specific breakdown. RB referred to the RB engine series, 30 represented 3.0 liters of displacement, S indicated a carburetor, E stood for fuel injection, and T signified a turbocharger. The RB30S used a carburetor. The RB30E featured electronic fuel injection, and the RB30ET combined fuel injection with a turbocharger. Nissan manufactured the RB30S and RB30E, while Holden exclusively produced the RB30ET. All RB30 engines had a block with a bore, made from cast iron, while the cylinder head was crafted from cast aluminum alloy. There were two types of RB30 blocks, Series 1 and Series 2. The only difference was that Series 2 blocks were designed to accommodate turbochargers, as they were pre-tapped for water and oil feed lines. Apart from this, both block types were identical. Vehicles like the Skyline and VL Commodore Turbo models used the Series 2 blocks, whether they had a turbocharger or not. The engine variants had a single overhead camshaft design with two valves per cylinder. Fuel-injected models utilized Nissan's electronic concentrated control system intake manifold, similar to the RB20 engine. They operated on a 12-volt electrical system, which was a newer feature during that era. The ignition system consisted of a single coil with a distributor, and the throttle body used a drive-by cable mechanism. This configuration highlighted the RB30 engine's advanced design and adaptability. Common Problems and Reliability The RB30 engine was known for its durability and ability to handle high mileage. Like the rest of the RB engine family, it was built to last for over 400,000 kilometers, 250,000 miles, without any major issues. In fact, some owners had managed to surpass 400,000 miles with their RB30-powered cars. Nissan had designed the RB block as the foundation for the RD6 cylinder diesel engine, which further demonstrated its strength and reliability. However, to maintain its performance over time, proper and timely maintenance was crucial. The RB engines, including the RB30, were known to have oiling problems. Regular oil changes every 3,000 to 5,000 miles were essential to avoid complications and ensure the engine ran smoothly. Another known weakness in the RB engines was the timing belt, which should be replaced every 60,000 miles at the latest. The RB30 was an interface engine, meaning if the timing belt broke, the pistons and valves could collide, causing significant damage to the engine. This type of damage was both costly and serious, as the valves would often bend or break when they collided with the pistons. The two main issues with the RB30 engines were related to its oiling system and the crank collar. These problems were not unique to the RB30, but affected other RB engine models like the RB20, RB25, and RB26 as well. The oil pump and oiling systems in these engines were known to fail, especially in the early versions of the RB26. The oiling issue could lead to significant engine problems, while the crank collar issue affected the engine's overall reliability and performance. RB30 Performance Upgrades the RB30 engine, in its original form, produced 157 horsepower and 186 pound-feet of torque in the RB30 version, while the RB30 ET produced 201 horsepower and 218 pound-feet of torque. These power numbers were considered quite low, especially by today's standards. Fortunately, the RB30 engine was known for its ability to handle performance upgrades very well. Many car owners with RB30 powered vehicles successfully achieved power outputs of 300 to 400 horsepower, with the highest performance builds surpassing 800 horsepower. For those who had the RB30S version, it was possible to convert it to use electronic fuel injection. However, this was not a simple or quick process. If the goal was to gain more power from the RB30S, the next step would be to find a larger carburetor. 
For individuals aiming to exceed 200 horsepower, the RB30E or RB30ET would be more suitable starting points. These versions were better equipped to handle the modifications necessary to reach higher power levels without compromising performance. With the right upgrades, the RB30 engine could become a much more powerful and capable engine, providing a significant performance boost to any vehicle it powered. Nissan RB30 Legacy the Nissan RB30 engine, although it didn't attract as much attention as its smaller RB2X siblings, was still a highly durable engine. Nissan designed the RB30 with reliability in mind, and its impressive ability to endure long distances before showing signs of wear is a clear testament to this. Whether it was the naturally aspirated or turbocharged version, the RB30 became a significant part of automotive history. While it didn't deliver extreme power straight from the factory, it excelled in efficiency and dependability, which made it a solid choice for many. The engine was not built to overwhelm with raw horsepower, but to provide consistent, long-lasting performance. However, for those who wanted more, the RB30 could still surprise with its potential. There were examples of RB30-powered Skylines pushing up to 700 horsepower, proving that the engine could handle substantial upgrades. And that's the tale of the legendary RB30, a powerhouse that bridged the gap between everyday practicality and high-performance dreams. What do you think makes this engine so iconic? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more automotive stories like this one.